Hello. Welcome, everyone. All right, we're gonna start swinging the arms. This is a great way to start the Qigong flow. I'm David. I'm Marilyn. Welcome to Qigong with David. And Marilyn, here we are. So uh, just have a good time. We always have a good time, and uh, we'll we'll move some chi. This is a great exercise for the spine. So we're kind of working the cervical spine right now with our arms up, taking some nice deep breaths. right for your body. Alright, and then now we're going to move the arms down to the lumbar spine, opening up the hips, the lumbar spine. We hold a lot of tension in our spine, so it's great to start with this exercise. It gets the chi moving. touch the body, we're just going to swim in the energy. Swim in light. Just let your hands move around. You might start to feel a little tingle in the fingers. This is your life force energy, otherwise known as chi. We're just starting to build a shaft of light, beautiful light. You can think of it as golden light if you'd like healing light that, that is in the front of you, in the back of you, to the left, 
to the right, above and below you. And just close your eyes and getting into your own space. This is your space. Taking a deep breath. You're going to slow that movement down. This is called moving through honey. Starting to feel just a little more tingle. Possibly, if not, no worries. Just envision that beautiful field around us. And then just very gracefully, we float our hands down to what we call surrender hands. Taking a nice deep breath and just checking in with our body, checking in with our lotus heart jewel, with our emotions, and checking in with our spirit, our shen, that connection to a higher power, however you relate to that. It's our intuition and our wisdom. So we're just connecting to the the spleen when it's in balance, wisdom and intellect, we bring in green. Green is the color of longevity and the liver when in balance. We bring in blue. Blue is the color of the kidneys, the color of peace and serenity. And then we bring in purple, the color of transmutation. Then let's bring both hands back and just bring in that golden light again. That beautiful golden sunlight. Just bringing it in. Let it float through your body, mind, spirit, and emotions to surrender hands. We're going to open our uh, stance just a bit. We're going to move right into spiral cord breathing. So we open our heart to the universe and then come down with elbows together just coming back and forth stretching up stretching down this is great for the core our core of the body it's great for the arms it's great for our heart and lungs and it's great for the digestion the spleen and stomach and the liver and all the other This 
next one, we're going to do a little twist and we're going to go to the right. Just twist. This is great for your spine. Come forward and twist the other. Back and forth. Come as low as is comfortable. You can do all of these exercises in a chair, by the way. So just know that. you want, you can take it over to the side a little bit, if that feels good. That gives you a bigger stretch, or you can just stay straight up and down, and up and down. Great. All right, we're going to do two more. We're going to slow it down, stretch and hold. Just hold the stretch and Feel it. Feel all that good stretching in your body. Spiral. Stretch the other direction. Beautiful. And now we're going to come down and we're going to take our right arm. Our right arm pushes out. The left arm comes behind us and we look behind us. And we come forward. Spiral. And stretch the other direction. This is a little bit different stretch. It's called the spinal sponge. Because we're, it's like we're just sponging out. We're just squeezing everything in, our, in the core of our body. Stretch and hold. Look behind you. Feel the stretch in the cervical spine. Wonderful. Last one. Stretch and hold. All right. Arms come down. Surrender hands. And let's shake it up. Let's just shake. Let's get all the tension out of our body. Any emotions. Let it go. Anything that's not serving you, just let it go, right? You're gonna circle around. Good for you, good for you. Yeah, be a kid, that's right. <laughs> okay, Mr. Aid, I'm just about ready for you to take over here. <laughs> All right, okay, okay. Don't get too carried away. Slow it down, round into the earth. Marilyn, Miss Marilyn, lovely.
Kelly Maryland. Welcome everybody. This is one of our first dual uh, Qigong classes that we're going to do. We invite you to join us on a regular basis as Marilyn and I teach Qigong on YouTube. All right, so let's uh, let's work on Tiger Claw. This is uh, a hard opener. The next several exercises are going to focus on opening the heart. So we want to take a wider stance, but comfortable. A quick reminder for those of you that are new to Qigong, we don't do anything that takes us into pain or discomfort. So if at any time during any of the stretches, it doesn't feel right, back away from the stretch. And if you can't get out of the pain or discomfort by backing away, just wait for the next exercise and give your body a chance just to recover. No pain, no discomfort, really important. So this first heart opener is called Tiger Claw. We start with our claws, our hands, just up here nice and soft to begin. We've got that stance, that wide-legged stance, just feeling, feeling the energy of Earth through the feet and feeling the energy of the universe through the crown, the top of your head. And once you've got that connection, it's really quick. It's like my feet, my, my crown, and now we're ready to do tiger claw. Take a nice deep breath here. Your claws, your hands are soft. And as we exhale, we come down. Now, if it feels comfortable, you can touch the ground, but it's not necessary. Again, listen to your body. Touch the ground, and then as we inhale up, we create the claws. So you've got those claws. You're just coming up, and then you're gonna claw open your heart. Nice. Top of the inhale here. Then as we exhale, we come down again. Soft hands, soft claws. Touch the ground. Inhale. Tiger claws, you open the heart. Open the heart, reveal your scars, your wounds from childhood, from any time in your life where you had a difficult um, event in your emotional center, in your lotus heart jewel that has left you uh, sad or feeling wounded. So we're opening up the heart space, opening up the lotus heart jewel. So we're just flowing with this. opening the heart. All right, now as we continue on this next exhale, when we come down, we're gonna introduce the heart whisper, which is just a deep sigh. So it's a <sighs> Touch the ground, inhale, open your heart. Reveal that part of you that's very vulnerable. <sighs> inhale, open your heart, claw it open. <sighs> Vulnerability, vulnerable from the Latin word vulnerus, which means of the earth, to be vulnerable, to become grounded. We open the heart, we become grounded. So, two more. Inhale, open the heart. Inhale, last one, open the heart. And then surrender hands. Now just breathe right into the heart. Close your eyes. Just feel the heart space, the lotus heart jewel, what we call the lotus heart jewel in Maryland in David's practice. Just breathe right into it, right in the center of your chest. You can even use a couple of those heart whispers as you explore these wounds, these scars. Just a deep sigh. This is one of the healing sounds we use in Qigong. And then relax, shake it out. So we move on. The next heart opener actually opens up, opens up the whole heart meridian, which goes from the bottom of the palm of the hand down the underside, lower part of the inside of the arm into the armpit and then into the heart. So this is called Fair Lady Circles. So we're starting with our hands. Again, we're going to feel that connection to the earth here. Through the hands, through the feet, through the tailbone. And then feel that connection to the universe through the crown, the top of the head. 
And then from here, we're gonna start the inhale. We're gonna do the first couple of repetitions in slow motion so you can see how the breath and the movement connect. I will say, and I wanna remind those that are new to our, our classes, but if the breath ever gets disconnected from the exercise itself, just do the exercise and breathe. All right, so let's start with an inhale and we're just moving to the right. Weight shifting coming up, top of the inhale, the hands are directly overhead, our weight is balanced. Then as we exhale, we weight shift to the left leg and down right to the center, and then now we inhale again up. And at the top of the, the second inhale, as we exhale, we're going to just push the hands out to the side. And you can even use that heart whisper sound. And then we inhale and go the other way. So it's an inhale up, exhale down and around. Inhale, weight shift up. And now exhale, heart whisper as you push out to the left. And inhale up, exhale down and around. Inhale up, exhale, push out, heart whisper. Let's do that two more times. So inhaling up, exhaling down and around, weight shifting. Inhale up, and then exhale, heart whisper. This will be the last one. So we inhale up, exhale down and around, inhale up, and then exhale, just open your heart. And then just float to surrender hands. And again, we return to the Lotus Heart Jewel right at the stern, right here at the center. Acupuncture point is called Conception Vessel 17. In our practice, this is the entry path into what we call in our practice, the love light. This is your lighthouse. We're coming to you from the lighthouse studio in our beautiful home here. And we want you to connect to your light, your love lights right here. Love, compassion, joy, patience. That's the focus of these exercises that we're working with. I can even use a couple of heart whispers. And then relax, shut it out. So this last of uh, our heart work, heart work that we're gonna do, this is called a lotus exercise. So we're gonna start and surrender hands, the feet are comfortable. This exercise uh, I, I was taught during my Qigong training in Santa Cruz uh, back in 2012. Uh, this is a uh, Buddhist uh, Qigong exercise that is used for distance healing. The Buddhist monks at the Shaolin Temple created this Qigong exercise to open the heart and to send out love to anyone that we know or don't know. You can send this love, this love out to the planet. So we start with our hands over our Lotus Heart Jewel and we create the intention. We pick a person or persons or anything in nature, anything that has life. Animal, nature? Yes. Whatever. Yeah, we've got squirrels running around in our backyard. Yes, we've got all sorts of life. You can even use trees, <laughs> anything alive. So we want to focus on one thing or, or several things. And we're just, as we take some deep breaths here, we're seeing this living being as it is in its glory. If it's an animal or a human, it's smiling, it's happy. If it's a dog, it's wagging its tail. And if it's a plant or a living bush or tree, it's just growing, becoming more green. So we pick this, this living thing. This is the focus of our distance healing, of the part lotus exercise. So just breathe into that person, see them happy, smiling, growing. And then we lower the hands to surrender the hands. And we'll do the first two exercises. I'll guide you with uh, talking. Several exercises on our own, just connecting to the flow. From here, from surrender hands, we inhale up and we come into what we call triangle fingers. Triangle fingers, for those of you that are new to Qigong, I'll just show you um, those people at home. 
uh, index fingers and the thumbs, uh, lightly touching, creating this energetic funnel, this energetic uh, passageway. So top of the inhale, we're connecting to the universe, to the energy of Yang. If you're looking at our shirt, that's the white fish with the black eye that chases the black fish with the white eye. Then as we exhale, we come down, keeping the triangle intact. Our knees soften, but our spine is, stays tall. Connect to yin. This is the black fish with the white eye. So we have a balance of yin and yang in our triangle fingers. Then we inhale up to the lotus heart jewel. And then as we exhale, we push out and we send a rainbow of healing love through the triangle. And let's just take a couple of breaths here, holding the triangle fingers out. I want you to see this rainbow that Marilyn worked with, those colors. Those are all colors of uh, light on a various spectrum of light, just flowing as love to the object of your exercise, of your lotus exercise. So just see that living thing in its glory, enjoying this gift from your heart. One more nice deep inhale, exhale out through the triangle, sending that rainbow of color of love. And then as we inhale, we come down, keeping the triangle fingers intact. And then we slowly come up and we open into a hand position that we call the lotus flower hand position. So our hands are kind of like we're holding a baseball or a softball or a grapefruit. The pinky fingers are pointed at that conception vessel, 17 point right at the sternum. And we bring this love that we sent out, we bring it back to ourselves. Love is a circle. When we give, we also receive. So breathe into this healing love, your healing self love. And then take a nice deep breath. Hands come up to the throat center, palms facing down, and then we do a heart whisper as we cleanse. So it's a back to the start position. So we'll do one more guided and then we'll do several on our own. Inhaling up, triangle fingers, exhaling, come down. We've got yin and yang in the hands, balance. Inhale to the lotus heart jewel. Exhale, a rainbow of love. See that object of love if it's a human being, they're smiling, a dog or a cat wagging their tail. Inhale, bring the love back. Inhale, up to the throat center. Exhale, heart whisper. And now let's just go on our own for several. today's class with uh, centering. We're going to take our uh, right hand, palm up at the waist, and uh, if you want to mirror us at home, what we're doing, you could do the left, whatever feels right. There's no right or wrong way to do any of these exercises. The important thing is to feel, to really experience your self-love here. That tingle, the energy, however you experience your chi. So we have our left hand out, from here, we inhale up, a little bit of a weight shift to that left leg. We're gathering energy from around us, from what we call our weight shift field. Then we exhale, we center that energy down. 
and we compress it into a ball right at the center, right between the hands, and then the palm comes just gently resting on the other palm, and then we inhale, gather from the other side. Exhale, center, compress, condense. Whenever we condense or compress energy, we make it stronger. And this is really important after we've done uh, a class like this where we've got a lot of energy going on. We don't want it to dissipate, we want to store it. And that will be the second part of our centering, what we call sealing. So we're just gathering the energy from the practice, condensing it, and then go. We'll do two more, one to each side. Inhale, gather, exhale, center, condense, turn the palm. Last one, inhale, gather, exhale, center, condense, and then just, we call this Dantian hands, In, interlacing the webbing of the index finger and the thumb. This hand position doesn't matter what hand is on the outside, whatever feels comfortable. We just place this hand position right over the belly, right into this area of the physical body um, that we call the lower dantian, the lower elixir field. This is where we brought the energy during our centering practice. And now we're just gonna do gentle circles. Again, it doesn't matter what direction you go. You got firm pressure on your belly. This is sealing the energy. Reverse the hands, the other hand goes on the outside, and Dantian's, and then we go the other direction. Firm pressure, taking some nice deep breaths here. Just feeling that energy that you've centered. The energy from your practice today. Yes. Namaste. Blessings and love. Blessings and love. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you again. Thank you.